everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to my build guide for the Poison Spiders Occultist. This build is one of my endgame builds that you can transition to after saving up currency to buy the required uniques. It uses Aracardi Spiders and Profane Bloom for fast map clearing, as well as Poison Stacking for bossing. Note that the build can be difficult to play due to the spider summoning mechanic. After the showcase, I will talk about the key features of the build, the passives Ascendancy and Pantheon, and gear including gems and links. Aracalis Fang raises fast moving, aggressive spiders that cannot die. They do physical and chaos damage and have 100% chance to poison. The Occultist has the best ascendancies for scaling poison damage. She also gets an extra cast, and Profane Bloom makes enemies go pop. Vixen's Entrapment gives you an extra cast. So the build uses Despair Aura, Self Cast Punishment, and Porcher's Mark in the Gloves. Speaker's Wreath blocks killing hits from your minions because they cannot ignite. So monsters can only be killed by poison. This counts as a player kill and will proc any on-kill effect, such as recovering life or raising spiders. Carrion Golem is the only support minion. He provides Withered, Feeding Frenzy, and extra base damage. You can swap Carrion Golem to another minion, such as Spectres, if you like. To summon spiders, cast Desecrate to make corpses, hold Divine Eyer, and use your Rising Jab Flask. Divine Eyer's Charging Aura will kill the worms and summons the spiders from the corpses. The Profane Explosions can also spawn spiders if there are corpses nearby. Here is the passive trip for the build. Note that spiritual command is anointed on amulet. You need a sovereignty cluster to reduce mana reserve. And there are also severe masteries. There are two sets of cluster jewels. The large jewels are minion damage with 11 or 12 points with increased effect of small passives. You don't really need any notables, but Renewal and Feasting Fiends will help keep your Carrion Golem alive. In the cluster sockets, use Fortress Covenant, Quickening Covenant, Surging Vitality, and Enduring Composure. 
Enduring composure generates endurance charges when you get hit, and surging vitality gives a nice bit of vision. In the foreshore socket, use ghastly eye jewels to get life in other minion modes. Note that the build also has Amanamu's gaze, but that is socketed in the belt. For the ascendancies, Malediction gives an extra curse, increased curse effect, and debuffs enemies. Profane Bloom makes enemies go pop. Void Beacon reduces enemies' resistance and life regen, and Withering Presence gives Chaos Breath and Withered. The Pantheons are Lunaris and Rithalatha for avoiding damage and refilling your Rising Jar Flask. Here is an overview of the gear including gems and links. This build requires Arakali's Fang, Speaker's Wreath, and Rising Jar. The other uniques are also important, but you can get them later. For the helmet, use Speaker's Wreath with the Spirit Offering Enchant. The gems are Despair, Blasphemy, Convocation, and Desecrate. For the body armor, look for Recover Life on Kill. Enemies that die from poison will count as your kill. Note that the body armor doesn't need to be 6 linked. The gems are 1. Skitabot's link to Unbound Ailments, 2. Malevolence link to Generosity, and Unlinked Spirit Offering and Punishment. For the gloves, use Vixen's Entrampment. The gems are Porcher's Mark, Flame Dash, Divine Eye, and Enhance, which will double the chance to get Frenzy Charges from Porcher's Mark. For the boots, I recommend plus 2 to Socketed Minions, which drops in Delve. The gems are Carrion Golem, Feeding Frenzy, Multi Strike, and Withering Touch. The weapon must be Arakali's Fang to raise spiders. The gems are Predator, Multi Strike, and Minion Damage. For your offhand, I recommend a shield with lots of life and resistances. The gems are Cast When Damage Taken, Immortal Call, and Increased Duration. For the amulet, you need a Despair in Presence. This will make Despair Aura reserve no mana. The anointment is actually very flexible. I have spiritual command on mine, but you could use something else instead. For the rings, look for or craft minion speed to help with clear speed. For the belt, use Darkness Enthroned to get 75% increase effect on the socketed jewels. For example, the dot mode from Amanamu's gaze increases from 30% to 52%. Lastly, my flasks are Life is Bleed Removal, Granite for Exama, Quicksilver for Speed Boost, Quotes for Phasing, and Riding Jar for Summoning Spiders. With thanks to my patrons for your support, here is a list of absolute legends, and there are more patrons in the other tier. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this build guide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye!